Hello, everyone. Delighted to be talking to you from one of my favourite venues in world football, the Orange Velodrome. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Olympique de Marseille, and they face Metz. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is the lineup for Marseille. It's the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Valentin Rongier plays alongside Jean Danveretou in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Alexis Sanchez. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And so the battle commences. Jallo. Maziz. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Close. At times, they make passing look easy. And they need to get tighter here. Genghis Under. Will he finish? Oh, it's in! And it goes down as a known goal by the keeper. Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Malinowski. Well, that's really strong play to keep. Can he put them in front? Splendid defending. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Yeah. Who can they pick out? And they could face difficulties here. He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Can they hit on the break? Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Genghis Under. 
Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Could be. And a goal. He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Youssef Maziz. Maziz. Kevin Indoram. Who can he pick out? Looking for the angle. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Jonathan Klaus. Mbemba. Klaus. Racing away here. Good defending in the end and danger averted for now. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, it fizzled out. Malinowski. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And no more time left. We've reached the halfway mark here at the Orange Velodrome. Alexis Sanchez, pretty well contained throughout this game, Stuart. Well, he's been off the pace so far. He's struggled to get on the ball. He's not looked threatening, and his movement just hasn't been good enough. And as the second half commences... Both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Jallo. Kevin Indoram. Marseille regaining possession here. Kolasinac. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. Valentin Rogier. This looks promising from Marseille. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. A good and fair challenge. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Better two. Back with Sanchez. Can they forge ahead? Alexis Sanchez, great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And it's Alexis Sanchez threatening now. As teammates, he could play it too. Genghis Unde!
Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Sheikh Tidian Sabali. Well, they couldn't make anything of that cross with the ball in a decent enough position. Nearing the end of the game, Stuart and Marseille are almost there. Well, what a finale we have here. Both sides have looked good going forward, but poor defensively. But I do think they have been the better side for much of this game. They just need to defend their box with determination in these last few minutes. Well, he's gone short with it. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. This could square the game. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Couldn't keep it. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. There goes the final whistle. And the story here, a victory for Olympique de Marseille. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.